cry. There's someone in trouble here. Is there? Well, let's see what they Where? have to say. Oh, there they are. We just talk to these people. Um, well, what little I had burned down with my home, I thought we were going to die on the streets. That's why I'm so grateful we were able to stay here. It really saved our lives. That's what make the Darkwing such good people. When I grow up, I'm going to join them too. After all the damage done to the city and ridding it of Almedria, it's only right that we look after citizens who lost their homes. I sure wish there was some more to go around. Oh, yeah. What are you talking about? Hmm. Our rations. We're always running short on them. It's never enough to be comfortable. You could really do with some rice, potatoes, beef, and some spices in particular. We have what you need. How's this? If that's what you need, we've got some right here. Is this enough? <laughs> Whoa, you're so generous. That fucking laugh, though. Thank you. Yes, that'd help a lot. I don't have much to offer in return, but I'll teach you my family secret recipe if you like curry great Ooh, this sounds delicious yes. yeah I can't wait to try it doesn't look all that hard to fix mm. either hey hey uh Kassara if it's really that simple would you teach me how to mm -hmm. cook it wow you're actually interested in making food now not just that? eating it but what does it matter to you I just like to put a certain someone in its place for complaining about my cooking earlier. Good. <laughs> well, I'd love to teach you, but my training isn't going to be easy. I think you're ready? Really? Is it that serious? Sh sure, I guess. Hit me with what you got. But I promise me, you won't tell anyone else I asked this, okay? <laughs> my lips are sealed, but in return, you have to call me Captain while we're training. Deal? What? What? Uh, okay, Captain. You're supposed to say yes, Captain. Yes! Yes, Captain. All right. Now we can begin your training. Right. I see some freshly caught fish there. Perfect. We'll use that as well. Really? What? But the recipe doesn't call for fish. What? Are you trying to talk back to your superior? No, no ma'am. You're supposed to say yes, Captain. Huh? But what? It's the quest for Kassara? All right. All right. Good. It looks like you have everything we need. Now we dive into the culinary trenches. Yes. Y yes, Captain. Over there. Is that how you hold a knife? What are you trying to do, Private? Dance with huh? it? N no, of course. You're supposed to say yes, Captain. Yes, y yes Captain. All right. Pay attention. Turn up that fire. Boil that water. You don't have time to let your eyes wander. Yes, yes Captain. It's all finished. Huh. So it is. It's flavor and presentation get a passing grade. We've got promise, but there's still room for improvement. You'll have to keep training every day. Do I make myself clear? All right. Yes, Captain. <sighs> Guess I've got a long way to go before my food is perfect, but I'll show him. One day my food will taste so good it'll knock his armor off. Alright. By the by, Xion. If you don't mind my asking, would you be willing to share what sort of clothes are currently in fashion on Rena sometime? Sure. As long as you call me Captain. Sir, yes sir, Captain Xion. I was just joking. Kinda has a nice ring to it though. We have to stay alert. We can't let our guard down until we finally capture Almedria. Those Renan stooges ran with their tails between their legs. Once Almedria is out of the picture, the age of the bright eyes will finally be over. We lost her home. Everything's gone. I know, but that's what happens when you choose to fight the Rena. But it's not all bad, honey. We live to see the day we won. That's what they celebrate, isn't it? Have you gone up past Akfolti Hills before? You should. There are great fishing spots to find in both the lakes and ruins. There are people resting upstairs who have lost their homes. Try to keep it down while you're here. All right. Forging, dude. Hardy forged my shit, so I should be fine. You know what? Let me check out this synth thing. Have I not learned how to do that yet? Maybe I haven't. 
Ooh, I can't make magic emblem now. Defense plus 20, attack plus 60. Oh. Increased aggro. Dude. Fuck yeah. I almost want to put it on myself and not on a Rinwell. Even though I don't use elemental attacks. Um, let's use the sh shitty crap. Ooh, all elemental damage is t minus 20. Let me keep one of those. Got two of those. Don't care about that. Don't care about that. We got a lot of those. I got a ton of these. Holy shit. Ooh, some of these are different. I forgot. See, this is better for him. Ooh, my attack's weaker. Defense plus 20. Oh, attack plus 15% and plus 20. That's why. All right, never mind. I'm leaving this on him. Let's put it on you. Very nice. Doesn't she have the weakest defense? Oh no, Shion does. Laws is pretty shitty too. I might try on something new. What was the other one I had for um? This one actually might be nice. Protectorine. Increased aggro and resistance forty. No, I'll wait. I tie with this. Lemon gels, ooh. 2,000 HP to one ally. I need orange gels by three. Half my money's gone. You got new armor? You do. Is it worth it? Hers is.
11. His is. Hmm. What? Fuck it. Your materials aren't worth shit. Ooh. All right. So that's enough of that. You can never be too prepared. But did we have to spend so much? Yes. The defense. Are you the blazing sword of Kalagula? You're welcome to stay here if you like, but just don't cause any trouble while you're here, understand? That dead eye creep certainly has a few screws loose, that's for sure. Forget that guy. Right now, we need to discuss how Fuck we're going to guy. proceed. What's there to discuss? Dead Eye and his crew have already brought down the Lord here. Just let them finish her off. I want to go after her. I second that. I think it's the best thing to do right now. We don't know if the Darkwings have what it takes to beat her. I'm worried what'll happen if we leave her to her own devices. <sighs> you make a good point, Rinwell. And maybe I'm just being overconfident, but between us and them, I think we have a better chance at defeating her. I have to agree. This realm isn't going to be truly safe as long as that Lord is still running around out there. We need to act. Fine by me. But isn't Dead I'm just gonna take all the credit once we're done? Our job is to break down the walls that oppress Dana. What he chooses to build in their place, that's his problem. For now, we'll head to this Estaluva forest Bayfon told us about. Whatever we decide to do, though, we should take some time to rest first. We've barely stopped since Men and Sia. Where are you going? Elfin. You should get some rest. What's got you up at this hour? Just let me be for a minute, okay? Why don't you go back to the inn? I will when you do. Have it your way. Shion. The Lord's days are numbered. I haven't forgotten our promise. You can trust me, you know. Maybe even lean on me a little. If you want. And if I say I will, will you finally give it a rest? <laughs> yeah, of course. Try to get some rest, okay? What was all that about? He said you can put your head in his lap. <laughs> yeah. So we're just going to check things out, right? In whatever that forest is called. Estaluva Forest. Estaluva Next time, Forest. Pay attention. All the weird ass names in this game. Alright, so, question is. Where? Oh, it's not gonna be this. It's gonna be somewhere here. It's probably the question marks to the right. Should be right here.
Mahogsar. Hey, a deer. Ah, got sand in my eyes. The winds are strong here. Mind yourselves. Ugh, even the inside of my mouth is all sandy. Poodle, don't get blown away, okay? The winds outside the capital are blowing as strongly as ever. You can definitely see why people call this place the Valley of the Four Winds. Indeed. Mahogsar is the realm of wind, just as Ganeth Heros is for water. Earth, water, fire, wind, light, and darkness. Rena is aligned to darkness, leaving each realm one element each. Is that because some elements are easier to gather in certain areas than others? That is certainly possible, but I suspect the biggest reason is to prevent the lords from squabbling over resources. Funny. You would think infighting would come naturally to an elite class vying for a crown. True, but the Renans rule as a minority. Fighting ourselves would just be destructive. Though, as you saw in Menencia, any abstention from fighting is merely a facade. In the end, you all get usurped whether you like it or not. Hmm. That may be true, but something tells me that this time is different. We have to catch up to the Lord first if we want answers. Let's keep moving. What is that ring of rocks over there for? They don't look Taylor. like they naturally to me. Oh yeah. Funny, I guess I've gotten used to weird rock formations. They didn't even register as being out of the ordinary. Most likely, they were brought over by us Renans when we first invaded the planet. Wait, those? So does that mean there's some kind of machine then? And if so, what in the world were they even used for? To manipulate the properties of Danis astral energy. Really? Think about it. Isn't it strange that the type of energy each realm collects is so fixed? Astral energy by nature isn't meant to skew towards one element or another so heavily. So the Renans reformed it for the crown contest. Sounds like the crazy thing a Renan would do. Renans these days are more advanced than Danans in some ways. But even they don't seem capable of doing something on that grand a scale. Or is that something that's possible on Lenegas? Or maybe the Renan homeworld? I can't claim to know everything about my own kind. But I myself have never seen anything that would be capable of such a drastic feat. But at some point they did just that. Those are the sort of people we're up against. We should do our best not to forget that. You're so amazing, Kisara. You can cook, you can fix weapons. I feel like there's practically nothing you can't do. Maybe you should take a page out of her book and learn to make yourself more useful then. Hmm. I'd be happy to teach you if you want, Rinwell. I learned most everything I know from my brother. Really? Even how to sew and do laundry? Yes, indeed. He knew how to do anything. Sounds like he was a pretty handy guy when he was alive. He was. I'd always follow him around and badger him with questions. I was a real pain in the neck. Now that I think about it, he and Lagiel were the ones who taught me how to raise cats, too. Lagiel is that woman who was with him in the gold dust cats, right? I remember now. The one with the really pretty hair. Funny you mention that. He also taught me how to maintain my hair. Not that those lessons stopped it from getting all tangled up during training. I think it still looks gorgeous. From what I can tell, it would appear as though the only thing he didn't manage to teach you was how to apply makeup. No, but that didn't stop him from trying. He really wanted to teach me everything. Only reason he couldn't was because I prioritized my training. And here I was trying to make a joke. I can't tell if she's being serious. The only one here who knows him well enough was her. Yeah, I guess only Megal could have told us if it's actually true. It's weird how those always come in chunks. <sighs> oh, the chef dude again. All right. Oh. Well, oh, it's the foodie again. Yes. I remember you. You're that young woman who's always starving. I haven't seen you since we last met in Eldman Nessia. <sighs> You're the one who's always hungry. Anyway, I take it you found another recipe on your travels. Very nice. I most certainly did. I'm glad I can cut to the chase then. Is that so? Shion, you might. Who might this fellow be? 
This is Gordano. He travels around Donna in search of new recipes to try. You don't say. A fine quest to embark on if I do say so myself. My name is Dohalim, kind sir. It's a pleasure to meet wow. your acquaintance. Wow, the Dohalim, Lord of Eldamanacea. It's an honor, my lord. Your beef stew is absolutely exquisite. I see. You honor me, kind sir. However, how is it that you came by the palace to stop secret dish? Hey! Anyway, what is it you need from us this time exactly? Come on, spit it out. R right. This time, I'm looking for lettuce, apples, and lemons. Can I ask you to bring those to me? Fucking take them, sure. bro. If that's all you're looking for, we've got it right here. Nice work. In that case, I'll give you the recipe so you find people can cook it oh. right away. Wow, this looks surprisingly simple. You and I might have a chance with this. Very nice. Wonderful. I'll leave the preparation up to you then. Well? Okay, it's all done. Yes! Oh, look at that beautiful dish. It smells just as divine, too. Now to see how it tastes. What? Wow, this, this is absolutely exquisite! Exquisitely bad, that is. What? Really? I assure you that I followed the recipe for the so-called vitamin smoothie to the letter. Taste it for yourself, and then tell me if you're still confident in your concoction. Here. Alright, down the hatch it goes. I don't believe this. See what I mean? Makes you want to vomit, doesn't right. it? Wait a second. I see a small warning affixed to the bottom of this recipe. Smoothies are made entirely from veggies, are recommended for experienced dieters only. Beginners should add fruit juice for flavor. No. Young miss, did you process only the lettuce? You know I asked you to prepare apples and lemons as well? Sure. Oh, come on. Who's going to notice a stupid warning label that tiny? Really now? Lesson learned, Shion. We will just have to add fruit and attempt this once more. She just ground up lettuce. Very well. Let's take it from the top. What? Whoa. This this is absolutely exquisite. Comparatively speaking, at least. What? You still don't sound all that enthused. Is this really the best recipe that Mahawk Sar has to ah. offer? I believe so. So when I first heard about this, it made me think of what I saw in Menacea. That combination of fruits and vegetables. It reminded me of Donnins and Renins living together. I thought this recipe might capture such harmony. Yeah. Nice. If nothing else, it's the most healthy recipe you're sure to find out here. Hmm. Indeed. I shall be sure to drink it so as to ensure that precious harmony lives on, even within the confines of my stomach. Yes. Phew. Well, that was satisfied enough for the time being. I can now leave this realm with no regrets. <laughs> it's time I leave in search of even greater cuisines. Farewell, my culinary comrades. Actually, one more glass before I leave. Glutton's maze. Well, that was a huge miscalculation. Yet you've drained your glass all the same. Alfin, have you been washing your clothes? It may not be my place to say this, but frankly, they're starting to stink. Now that you mention it, it has been a while since I did any laundry. I'll wash them for you if you want. Just remember to give them to me the next time you get changed. Oh, okay. Sure. Thanks, Kisara. And, Law, Rinwell, yours are starting to look a bit ragged. What do you expect? Of course they're going to tear up when we're out there fighting so much. Yeah, but it's still kind of embarrassing having it pointed out like this. And Xion? I wouldn't touch me if I were you. Of course. My apologies. All I wanted to say was that your sleeves are getting a little bit dirty. You don't need to worry so much, Kisara. It's only natural our clothes are gonna get a little dirty while we're traveling around. That's no excuse. Your outward appearance says a lot about your inner well-being. Now you've really set her off. Suffice to say, it would appear that the traditions of the Guard are still alive and well within her. What do you mean? What do the Guardsmen do that's so special? Mostly. I'm simply referring to the fact that they're a very... Regimented and cleanly group of people. Do I really sound that weird to you guys? Keeping your clothes clean and mended is completely normal to me. Don't get us wrong. We appreciate the thought, Kisara. But we've got a long journey ahead. It wouldn't hurt to relax your standards. Just a little. If you're sure. I wasn't trying to overdo it, I promise. However, if it's making the rest of you tense, 
I'll do my best to tone it down from here on out. Still, if everyone could bring their laundry and clothes they want fixed, that'd be great. I'll take care of it all for you guys tonight. Don't you ever get tired? Nope. Okay, how big is this area? I'm assuming we're going this way. We'll check out this other stuff first. The sword and the stone. More doggies. Fucking purple fangs. won't run away from a battle. materials in your garments. You really do have quite the discerning eye, Dohalim. Yeah, they all kind of look the same to me. Ooh, red saffron. This thing? Haven't we picked that up before? Stay calm. I shall provide assistance. Outside the city than they are Ooh. inside. Yeah, it's all ruined. Oh, I see. You. Houses and everything else. Even if it was all more shades. The Ooh, this whoo is... whoo 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 Retro sunglasses. Look, Hoodle. One of your buddies. Alright, what's this path? Something. Add in the lake. Oh, this place is empty. It's just a dead end. 
So we'll check it out first. Why didn't the Rans do Coming through! You're mine! Take this! Kill them all. Nope. Oops. I feel stronger. I mean, a bit. Good. We're counting on you, Rinwell. On me? Uh, Rinwell's my highest level They're person. How did that happen? Where are you going? It's over. We work well together. I'm going to pretend I didn't hear you say that. I can feel my precision improving. Check up here. Isn't that that thing we fought for that boss? Holy mackerel. Is the blazing sword okay? A little water's not going to hurt it. The lettuce. Is another owl here? I won't forgive you. Oh wait, we didn't get one in this area. Was that? Where is he? I hear you, asshole. But I don't see you. Oh, will the bias recipe? What the fuck? your owl friend, bro. It's around here somewhere. Needed that for the one of the weapons, it's the actual ore. Ooh. Retreat if you know what Creepzilla. Careful, we have to pay the 
Dude, did I really just die? Somebody revived me. I thought you were going to wreck the place. I'm not near the place. Then I'll provide assistance however I can. These little ones are hardly worth our time. Less talking and more pummeling. Let's part to your heart's content. I'll take it from here. Let's see how you handle this! Deus Force! Photon Slap! Dance in the wind! You're mine! Air Thrive! 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 Did you just heal me? Yes. I need you, remember? Right. Not today! I'll play you next time! And you'll be ready! Breaking the Prepare to be seen! Infernal Torrent! Take this! Is this it? Oh my god, dude. Raging Captain! Does have a lot of fucking health, man. Beyond our depth, we barely got a look at the thing. Blade of Sigma, oh, that's right. I forgot. Picked up this, too. It's the fucking Pac Man, dude. Cooking effect boost makes the effects of recipes last 10% longer. One damage reduces all damage, both taken and inflicted, to just one. Well, that's kind of cheap. I don't know why you'd want to do that. Miss. Oh shit, I am out of CP. Alright. It's fine. Get. Oh, I see the owl now. These seeds are so expensive. Coming through. I shall ensure you survive this.
This could be useful. Wait, where the hell am I? Oh, there he is. You got the angry glasses. Somebody's grumpy. Maybe something's going on in the forest. Ooh, more outfits already? Alright. Oh, we've been there before. Alright. So that's all that was up there. Oh, this was a dead end, too. Okay. Get lost! Is this one a little bigger? Ivy Master. Oh, let's use our skill that many times. Um, uh, Dolan Lehman lays a rock trap and leaves back. The trap goes off. Either the enemy gets close to it or after a certain amount of time passes. So this three. Damn, dude, I've unlocked a lot of hers already. Ah, right, that's everybody. <laughs> Am I on a roll or what? Well, look who's in a bright and shiny mood. Apples. All that for apples? All right. I'm 
imagining things? Or are there a lot of big zoogles in this area? No, I noticed that too. There's plenty of food and water to go around here. For a zoogle, this just might be paradise. Great, that's exactly what I wanted to hear. <sighs> Thank goodness we won. Yeah, I don't want to fight these guys. What's I don't this thing? see any shit chest around them. They take too long to kill. A fish? You saw it too, right? No. Ooh, I can make this now. How much better is it? Pretty good. Alright, what did I need for it? I needed a ground fane. I don't have much money. I don't have enough money to make it perfect. Ooh, I need lizard fane fins. I wonder if I get them from those guys. I can make hers too with the rock wall, so let me do that. I don't want the money, so I'll have to wait. It's fine, I can wait. I always love the sound of hammers banging away. Food's about to run out. Is we'll do there a, a reason up. you're looking at me so intently? Shion's kind of turned into the local fashion critic in our group. So this is what lords like you wear. Certainly looks the part. I can tell at a glance what high quality everything is. Oops. Thought she hmm. was done. What's up, Kisara? You look concerned. Uh, oh, no. It's just... I'm looking at our finances, and they seem to have taken a nosedive. I don't remember us making any big purchases, though. Ah, that may be because I borrowed a small amount to purchase something the other day. I don't think you can call spending more than half of our money a small amount. Half? Wolfalim, what the hell did you buy? As it so happens, I came upon a rather special object that I've long been searching for. Are you talking about that junk? Uh, I mean, that uh, unique-looking trinket you're holding? Wow, is that a... Indeed. It is a lost artifact from ancient Danon times. Most likely, it was used for some sort of rite or ritual. Ever since we Renans conquered Dana, such objects have been disappearing. I simply want to do my part to help preserve both our people's storied histories. Well, if it's to preserve Danon history, then I guess we can maybe look the other way. Just this once? I don't know. Why spend money on something that won't even keep us fed? More to the point, we all contribute to that money. I don't like the thought of anyone dipping into it without saying anything. You must understand. Had I let that opportunity pass me by, I'd never have come across this item again. Dohalim, maybe no one taught you that money doesn't grow on trees. I may have been a lord, but I realize that much. It's not enough to simply realize it. You have to internalize the concept, too. Even after all this time, you still have no real sense of money. Our funds aren't your personal wallet. We camp outside and eat grass for dinner to try and stretch every last gold we have. You never know when we may need it. Uh, I don't think we're so poor that we have to eat grass or any... Shut up, Alfin. Shutting. Let's just agree to not spend too much or be too thrifty for our own good. Alfin, your blazing sword draws its power from Shion's Fire Master Core, right? So I'm told. Then why don't you use yours, Dohalim? You mean my Earth Master Core, yes? Yeah, I mean, you still carry it around with you, don't you? I do. Each Master Core contains the astral energy harvested from Dan and slaves over the course of the last three centuries. Though only a select few qualified people, namely the Lords, can wield them. They nevertheless hold too much power to simply abandon. 
If only the Lords are supposed to be able to use them, how come Alfin and Xion can use theirs? That may be because Xion has embedded the Fire Master Core within her body, something which wouldn't have occurred under normal circumstances. Okay, but why do you still carry yours around? Just as Danon see Master Cores as symbols of the lives and resources robbed from them, so too do I view mine as the symbol of our lasting sins. The pain and agony wrought upon this world by my predecessors, as well as the injustice enabled by my own inaction, are all housed within my Master Core. It is a testament of all that I have done wrong. It cannot ever be used again, nor fall back into the wrong hands. <sighs> Dohalim. You didn't differentiate between the deaths of Danans and the deaths of Renans. Danans and Renans both spill blood and languish in agony all the same. I just couldn't bear to hear it any longer. That's all. Little late for that. Alright, what should we cook? What is this shit? It's like clam soup. Increases heal CP after battle. Oh shit. Restores 10 CP. It's not that much, but you know what? I'm gonna do it. This is a true masterpiece, no less than culinary art. <laughs> Hey, you're pretty good at cooking, Dohalim. That's for sure, and rather surprising. I never thought a Renan Lord would know how to fix anything on their own. You flatter me. This dish is nothing special. I don't know. I'd say this was pretty good. Yeah. If we ever get back to Calaglia, I'd love the chance to share this with everybody. All I did was simply cut some ingredients and let them simmer inside the pot. Most anyone could prepare this recipe. That simple, huh? Just throw him in and simmer? You might be misleading him a bit, making it sound so easy. I'm certainly not exaggerating it. If all it takes is putting ingredients in water, I can handle that. I'll have to try it soon. Huh? Uh, I think it might be better if you didn't, Alfin. Hmm? Why not? And if he did, you'd be obligated to eat it. Don't worry. I'll heal you afterwards. I don't know whether to feel more sorry for Alfin when nobody believes in him, or myself knowing what's in store for me once I eat his concoction. Alright, let's do a scene with Rinwell. Rinwell, mind if we chat a little? I noticed you haven't been training Huda lately. Is he doing okay? Yeah, he's fine. He's been catching fish with Kisara. And he seems to be adjusting his diet on his own, so I'm not as worried as before. Maybe that's his way of pitching in, so you don't have to do everything for him. Yeah, maybe. I guess at some point he started taking a shine to everyone, too. Just like they did to him. You sound like you're okay with that. Yeah. More than okay, really. It feels natural having Hoodle and everyone around. I know what you mean. We all support and take care of each other in our own ways. It's starting to feel like we're almost a family. Huh. I hadn't thought of it like that. So does that make you everybody's dad? Do I really look that old to you? Huh? You don't like that? Okay, how about you be the big brother? Shion is the big sister. And Kisara can be our mom. Well, then how about Dohalim for the dad? I don't really get that kind of vibe from Dohalim. He's more like an uncle. An old uncle, who's too preachy and snarky for his own good sometimes. Not the fun one. And as for Law... Hmm... Well, Hoodle took the little brother role, and Law's definitely, definitely not the dad. Hmm... This is hard. Oh! Law can be the pet dog! A dog? Do dogs really count as part of a family? Yes. Of course they do! If an owl can be part of our family, so can a dog. <laughs> when you think about it like that, we have a pretty fun family. Yeah, a pretty big one as well. That's why I like it so much. I wish we didn't have to do anything dangerous. 
I just want to keep traveling the world with you guys the way we are right now. You okay? Uh, oh, it's nothing. Actually, I think I'm gonna go practice with Hoodle for a bit. All right. We should really get some rest. Law growing boy. The hell did he get that for? Okay. Another day, another gold. Another day, another dollar. Let's go and fish. Try this shit again. Would it be easy clear. to simply use astral arts to catch the fish and be done with it? That misses the that whole point of going out to fish. Bad. <laughs> yeah. Um. I've got something. Bam, 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 bam. <sighs> I'm not supposed to pull back. I think I'm supposed to pull back when I'm time. reeling in. Maybe you could keep it as a pet. That shit ain't rare. The only game I fished like a lot in was <laughs> yeah. um Yeez Eight. I think that was the last one that came out. Well, Nine's the last one that came out, but I haven't played that one yet. There we go. Got him. Anybody could reel in that. Guess it's important to stay calm. It's fucking baby ass fish here. Small yeah. ass fish. Well, that wasn't much All of a right, challenge. Fuck this. I'm you doing sure one know what more. you're doing. Let's see if I get a different fish. Let me just go for the spot that's the bubbles. <laughs> Whoops. I'll catch something bigger next time. Nice work. Yeah, just the same old fish. I think there's a point of fighting these guys. Like I said, they're not. There's nothing around them. Mahog Sar, a land where the winds scar and the clouds stretch far. Kisara, what is he doing? Reciting a poem, apparently. Just let him be. Too bad I didn't see this guy before I rested, but oh well. Goddess of Kindness. Improved healing arts. Fucking definitely save for that one. And probably save for that one. I wonder just how many people have been saved by Shion in some form. I'm impressed. 
There's rumors flying around about people being saved by a Renin vision of beauty. The vision of beauty? That's a bit much. Alfin had better stay on his toes. Where do I come into this? This might go well in that new recipe. You got challengers. Can't wait to see what you make. You're the one making it. Alright, I think this area is done. Tapped out. Oh, that shit respawned. Bye, Wolfie. Go to that owl spot where we left off. All right, so I'm gonna leave it here. It's gonna do it for this episode. Next time we will continue through Akfotli Hills, and we'll go up here first, and then we'll come down here and. This is probably the area we're supposed to go. That forest is probably here. As we hunt down the lord of this realm. Until then, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Late.